On food outside the lines, we are making Dr. Pepper chicken. This chicken is baked in the oven while covered in an ooey gooey Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. Meals this tasty are rarely this easy to make. Okay, welcome back YouTubers. Um, today we're gonna make Dr. Pepper chicken. This is a recipe that was actually requested from one of our viewers, and so I'm really excited to have the opportunity to make it. Great, I've never had Dr. Pepper chicken. All right, I'm gonna put you to work. So I'm gonna have you dump in a cup of ketchup. Now we're making a lot of sauce. You don't have to make it, you can cut it in half if you want, but I'd rather have too much sauce than not enough because um, I kind of like it juicy and I love the flavors. So totally up to you. If you have too much sauce, you can always like get rid of it, but if you don't have enough, then you're gonna just be sad. Another cup of barbecue sauce. So a cup of ketchup, a cup of barbecue sauce. Do you have a particular favorite barbecue sauce? You know, it really just depends. I, I admit I like Dave's famous uh, famous Dave's? Yeah, Famous Dave's. But if you make one or you have your own favorite, then go ahead and do that. We have a fourth a cup of brown sugar. That's just half. Sorry. A half a cup of brown sugar because I doubled everything. <laughs> and then we're just going to go with a cup of Dr. Pepper. So the measurements are really easy, right? It's one cup, one cup, one cup, a half a cup. And just go ahead and stir that up. Um, while AJ's doing that, I went ahead and I got my chicken breast ready. And I went ahead and I scored the chicken breast just because we want to get that ooey gooey sauce down into the chicken um, just to make it even more delicious, right? When you think about a, a meal that your kids are going to eat, absolutely you're not going to have any problem with that. And I don't know, do you want to whisk or are you okay with that? This is good. I'm about, I think I'm about there. Okay, perfect. So and you can see this is also a fast meal. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab a glass pan um, and just add a little bit of the sauce right on the bottom, just for the bottom of the chicken. Um, I did, whoops, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, so I sprayed the pan with Pam lightly just to help with the cleanup. But I'm adding some sauce to the bottom of the pan for the bottom of the chicken, right? We want all of the chicken just to be encased with sauce. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the chicken right in here. And since I just touched raw chicken, AJ, would you mind pouring the rest of the sauce just right over the top of it? Okay. Right? Safety first, especially when it comes to chicken. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, again, I really believe we eat first with our nose, with the smell. Think about walking into a restaurant and you smell that wonderful food or even coming home and somebody's been cooking for you. It, it's about that smell. And I'm even going to go ahead and I'm going to just steal this for a second and just make sure that the sauce gets into some of those little pockets of the chicken that we cut. And I know we have people sitting here watching this film and they're so excited for this. They're like, I want Dr. Pepper chicken. That's what they told me. Easy peasy, we're just gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour and five minutes. And when we come out, we're gonna show you that bubbly, delicious chicken. So hang with us. Look at this. This is ooey gooey loving on a plate. Smells so good. Yeah, so we're going to get some forks and a knife and we're going to cut into it, but you can just see that it was that easy and, and I'm ready to feed my family. All right, let's give this Dr. Pepper chicken a taste. I am so excited. I love the smell as this, always. This looks amazing. <laughs> I can actually smell it when it was in the oven cooking. Mm, yeah. And you know, this is kind of a fun, really springy summer meal. With a little bit of asparagus with it. Oh, yeah. I'm more of a Brussels sprouts, but yeah, asparagus works too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, cheers. guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. That is really good. Um, I'm surprised you really can't taste Dr. Pepper, but you definitely taste the Yeah. Fruit. I don't like Dr. Pepper. And, you know, I, don't, I never drink it. I don't like it. 
This is good. Yeah, this is really good. So you guys, taste, savor, and enjoy. Drop us some comments. Tell us how you like it. And we'll see you guys next week.